Hello children, welcome and this is our capsule number seven and today we are going to work with articles. Maybe you think that this is pretty obvious and you know what is uh, the meaning of this but with this presentation I'm going to clarify some um, ideas or problems okay that we have with these little words okay. Now take a look, pay attention and this is going to be really helpful for you. Now, first of all, we have articles, okay? Articles for us in Spanish, okay, can be like definite or undefinite, okay? Like un, uno, una, unos, or el, la, los, la, okay? So, in English, we, got, we have equivalent for that, but not exactly the same. As you know, for example, the, this word, okay, means el, la, los o las, okay? And a, an means uno o un, okay? And these two mean the same. Ambas, ambas palabras significan exactamente lo mismo. Porque yo uso esa o esa, depende qué palabra viene después, okay? Pay attention to that. So, the next option is no article. That means all the words that you can use without the article. We have many, many points and many, many situations. So, take a look. We have here our friend, the dirty, okay? We have used this same picture, class after class. And take a look, it says here, it's a large ape-like animal. A, oh, a large ape-like animal. So, take a look at the rules, okay? Complete the rules with a, uh, on, the, or no article. So, it says here, we use with singular nouns when we mention them for the first time. Sustantivos singulares cuando los mencionamos por primera vez. In this case, the option is a or an, un o una, okay? Then, Look at this, it says, we use with singular nouns which we have mentioned before on when it is clear which one we mean, with superlatives, the best, with some place names, example, names of mountains, seas, oceans, rivers, the deserts, and some countries. In this case, pretty easy, the option is the. Then we have here, we use for generalizations, example, I like music, with people's names, languages, and most countries and cities. No article. So, these are the three options we are going to manage, okay? Let's go and take a look. Here we have some examples. Lima is the capital city of Peru. The witness gave a description of the burglar. We went on a trip to Mexico. Now we have here some exercises, okay? And we are going to decide what to use. A, an, de, or no article. Take a look and decide, okay? For example, I think I saw a tiger in the forest. The archaeologists have found 100, 500 year old skeleton. My cousin has moved to there's old house on my street that no one has lived in for 50 years. We are going on vacation to San Francisco in the summer. My mom is teacher at my school. I enjoy art. Airplanes revolution, revolutionized travel. Let's take a look. So in this one, the correct option is A. Number two, the correct option is THE. There's AN. Take a look. With an N. ¿Por qué en este caso tengo que ponerlo con una N? Porque la palabra que lo sigue en la oración comienza con vocal. Por lo tanto, no puede ser una A. Tenemos que romper el sonido vocálico utilizando la N. Then, we are going on vacation to San Francisco. No article. Number five, my mom is a teacher at my school. I enjoy 
art. This is a generalization, okay? Un concepto que es general, generalizado. Then, number seven, the airplane revolutionized travel. Let's go with the next one. It says, write sentences in the simple present with a and the or no article. Okay, take a look at this one. We have elephants be danger in Africa. How can I make this a full meaningful sentence? How can I use an article in this case? Take a look, observe, and then I'm going to give you the possible answers. Okay, work first, pause the video if you like, okay, to do this perfectly. Elephants are in danger in Africa, so no article. Then, Annie loves flowers, no article. My parents live, my grandparents live in Chile, no article. Tom is an archaeologist, and Sahara Desert, the Sahara Desert, is the largest desert in the world. Okay, here we use it because this is a superlative. Este es un superlativo. Siempre los superlativos van a tener el de antes. Quiere decir el más grande. El desierto del Sahara es el más grande desierto del mundo. O el desierto más grande del mundo. Okay? Now kids, this is all for today. Bye bye, have fun.